Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to resolve the error alert 0xC004E003. Um, this error will typically arise after installing a third party application or program that affects system files and Windows activation may be damaged or has components that need to be repaired. So the Microsoft solution or Microsoft's recommended fix for this is to restore the computer to an earlier state or to reset files. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go over two different options here. So the first would be to go to system restore. So very simple, we're going to just type in system restore into the start menu. So we went under create a restore point, it'd be listed under the control panel. We can see that our protection settings are currently off. So unfortunately the solution would not work for us. However, if we, let's say for example, did have it enabled and we could then, if we did have it enabled from the start, we could have gone under system restore. And then since there are no restore points, we obviously cannot move forward with this method. However, at this point, you could select from different restore points that have been automatically or manually saved over time, and then restore back to that and see if the activation issue has been resolved. Otherwise, we can go back on the start menu again. Again, type in system restore. And then there'll be another option underneath that'll say reset this PC and it'll be listed under system settings. So you want to left click on that option instead if the system restore one does not work for you. Again, I would recommend you try that one first. So at this point, we would see that there's an area that says reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows. So you want to left click on get started. So underneath choose an option, I would select keep my files which will remove application settings but keep your personal files. Keep in mind that this method will remove applications you've installed on your computer so make sure you have all your licensing keys for any third party programs you have and it also will revert any system settings you have changed over the time that you've used Windows. So it's very important to note I would recommend using this method as a last resort but if you're in a jam and you really need to activate Windows, this is uh, what I would suggest. So select Keep My Files. So then you get a prompt saying getting things ready. This won't take long. So then it gives you a list of programs that will be removed when you restart your computer. So then just select Next. And then it says Ready to Reset This PC. It will remove apps and programs that did not come with this PC. It'll change settings back to the defaults and it will reinstall Windows without removing your personal files. So this will take a while and your PC will restart. Select Reset, so left click on that. And this will take a little while, so once this is done, I will be back. Hello everyone, uh, I just wanted to give a brief snapshot of the progress that we're making and what to expect. And we're about 5 to 10 minutes approximately into this process and we're about a third of the way done. This is a screen that most of you guys will be seeing that will say resetting this PC. Again, it does take a little while, so just be prepared to wait it out. And again, once it is done, I will be back. Hello everyone, I'm back. So the reset has finished. Your apps will be cleared, but hopefully you'll be able to activate your Windows 10 license at this point. So I'd recommend going and trying that. If you actually open up this file right here, it'll, it'll actually show you the programs that were removed in the process. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.